Cranfield is leading on a large research project called SCALE, which is partly funded by Interreg. We're working very closely with our project partners to develop useful approaches for the food sector to use as they look to improve their performance across the triple bottom line of people, profit and planet. As part of our engagement with industry, we, we carried out a scoping study where we interviewed 27 senior managers from different organisations in different parts of the supply chain, such as manufacturing, farming, logistics and retail. We did this as we wanted to capture firsthand their views and current practices with respect to the implementation of the triple bottom line in their businesses and across their entire supply chain. Triple bottom line in food logistics remains for now an unfulfilled goal. And the reasons for this are several. If you first look at what drives companies in adopting sustainability strategies, we found that expectations of economic benefits remain a dominant driver. Among these, cost reductions, care for corporate branding and customer pressures are at the forefront. It is fair to say though, that most companies consider care for environment as a key driver but not in the absence of economic drivers. We notice, however, particularly in companies with mature sustainability cultures, an important shift in priorities where the economic aspects of sustainability started taking a secondary importance. Sustainability is becoming in the food industry more and more often an order qualifier. Therefore, it is important for companies to consider how they are going to engage in sustainability initiatives. In our report, we highlighted several barriers for sustainability improvement. We showed that companies that are overly profit-focused while simultaneously fostering transactional relationships with their external network encounter difficulties in improving their sustainability position. And this is particularly the case in companies that have already reached a sustainability plateau in what they are able to achieve on their own. Namely, collaboration with external parties, which is reflected in practices such as information exchange for sustainability improvements and development and alignment of sustainability performance metrics, is perceived as the most important sustainability improvement opportunity in the future. We are very excited about the next step for us here at Cranfield University, which is to engage even more closely with several clusters of companies in a network to look at using our relationship management suite of tools that we have developed to help them drive forward their efforts on collaborating for sustainability.